Ian Van Tyle here and behind me is the new 2021 Valley 4.8 that is currently in San Diego being commissioned for the new owner. So let me show you some of the features and benefits that this amazing yacht has to offer. Okay, so here we are looking at the bow of the vessel and one thing you're gonna notice is the really uh, forward facing plumb bow that it offers maximizing the water line and really making this a true performance uh, cruiser. The Bally line is uh, part of the Katana group and uh, they are known for building really solid offshore performance uh, cruising catamarans and really brought tons of innovation with the uh, Bally line of uh, catamarans. And this uh, 4.8 does not disappoint in any way. It has tremendous volume, massive innovation, and really remarkable uh, for what it offers. Now, uh, this particular uh, layout is uh, maximizing the head and cabin configuration, which I'll kind of show you. But right here at the back of the vessel, one thing uh, that's uh, new with Bally is they make this bridge deck across from the two uh, back uh, holes. Uh, we have this integrated uh, davit system here. You can see the owner's uh, dinghy that tilts up really nicely in play with this. Above overhead, the owners uh, installed uh, custom uh, solar panels here, but a really nice system. And I love the accessibility to be able to walk around. We have uh, emergency tiller access here, engine access here. The two aft uh, cabins, both the starboard and port. Uh, I'm gonna walk you up to the uh, fore deck. We just in, uh, installed the enclosure. So you can see what that looks like from the factory. But moving up forward, amazing wide side decks, a great place up here. And this is what's very unique about the uh, Bally line is that they offer this forward solid deck. And you can see, look how much seating and lounge area there is. There's no uh, falling between nets. It's a very dry, dry boat. And one thing that makes it really innovative is this uh, forward door that accessible from the salon uh, up to this forward cockpit. So a great use of space, lots of integrated uh, storage uh, throughout. And again, no other catamaran brings you this uh, feel. And Bally's done an exceptional job with that. The uh, self-tacking uh, head cell that's here, and you can see the integrated stainless steel ladders going up uh, into the bimini section for the uh, accessibility to the mainsail uh, stack pack. And as we move up into the cockpit, what I love about it is there's two access points, uh, forward of this, forward of the helm, and right through the helm. You have great layout for your engine controls here, your chart plotter, your autopilot, really nice uh, you know, carbon uh, composite wheel. Uh, accessibility to the electric winches with nice storage area. And again, this is all factory cams. They've done a great job with this. Lots of seating uh, throughout the upper flybridge, large, large table here. And what's really innovative is just this back deck area and the use of space. But again, this is a great uh, layout and a really nice uh, flybridge. Now we're gonna be walking back down uh, and going into the salon of the vessel. But before I do that, I'm gonna take you into one of the uh, aft cabins. And we walk down here and through this uh, opening hatch and we have a nice large cabin here with a queen size berth. Uh, we have a hanging locker here aft, escape hatch. Um, again, large berth here, another uh, storage compartment, opening hatch through the side port and your own uh, head and shower compartment. Nicely done. The fit, the finish is quite superb. Uh, underneath these steps, this opens up and you have uh, accessibility to your uh, battery chargers and some electrical components here. But again, great use of space and a really nice innovative uh, design here. And walking through this uh, back accessible area, we have this huge large bench seat that's here. And what Bally's uh, famously known for is this aft opening uh, door which is really impressive. So, you know, quick accessibility, this opens up and locks into position. Uh, you also have uh, these large windows that open up both to starboard and port, but look at the size of the salon. It is truly impressive and a really great use of space. The um, garage door is what I call it. The uh, electrical switch is right here. 
So with the push of a button, this will open and close. Uh, that's activated by a breaker at the uh, nav station. But again, look at this, look at the bases of that table. I mean, you can just see the sturdiness and how it's designed. Now we walk up forward, we have this massive uh, freezer. They have uh, locks uh, down here at the bottom, but massive freezer, refrigerator. Uh, I mean, just a great use of space and how they've integrated this in with that matching wood trim is really tastefully done. The uh, galley itself is quite spectacular. Large countertops, really amazing amount of uh, storage below and nice stainless steel sinks. Lots of compartments around here, three burner stove and oven below that. And then again, this is that walkthrough door that I was talking to you about. Forward facing nav station with uh, the Schreiber panel, your Raymarine uh, displays, VHF and your electrical panel uh, right here. And again, this is just really done to a point which uh, is pretty impressive. I really like just how clean everything is here. And again, battery charger controls, thermostat for um, the um, air conditioning heating systems uh, that you can get with these uh, yachts. But we're gonna walk down to the uh, port side. Uh, looking uh, aft, we have double bunk beds. So great use of space. Again, there's large uh, hanging locker closets and opening port here. You have access into your own head and shower compartment, which is really nice. And again, storage. We're gonna move forward into the uh, VIP cabin. <clears throat> and what I like about it is you have accessibility with steps on both sides uh, of, the, of the bed. Nice centerline queen berth. You can see the quality of the mattresses that come standard from Bali. <clears throat> Lumar opening ports here. And then accessibility into your head and shower compartment. Great use of space. Love just, you know, the angles that they've done here and just the design, the wood trims. They have done a remarkable job. Moving back aft. Over to the uh, starboard side. We have the identical uh, layout, double bunk beds aft with its own head and shower. And then really nice, um, you know, center line berth accessible from both sides with steps. And then your uh, head and shower compartment uh, here. Yeah, look at the materials that are used. This uh, ultra leather, nice pattern, really nice uh, high-end light switches, you know, Lumar opening ports. I mean, they've done a really nice job uh, throughout the vessel. Nice LED lighting and light switches. I like how they've added the uh, aluminum trim to the steps so they don't get beat up. Nice handrails. Again, great use of space. And I'm going to show you this accessibility up here is remarkable. I mean, very, very few catamarans have something like this in this class. And uh, they've just done a great job with that. So if I've done it correctly, I'm turning on the switch, I can show you how this garage door opens up. And again, in a matter of seconds, you could transform a fully enclosed salon to a nice open airy yacht with a full pass through for that forward cockpit to the aft cockpit. The maneuverability around this is just truly spectacular. And it really impresses me with its innovation and just listen how quiet that is. I mean, look at this. And with both of these windows that open up, I mean, you really have a nice open feel. Well, I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. I know we covered a lot of boat in a short period of time. I'm really trying to keep these under 10 minutes. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for additional video walkthroughs like this, I hope you found this uh, helpful. If you like it, please thumbs up. And again, call me at any time, day or night. I'm here for you to answer any questions and I would love to earn your business. Thank you again.